Hello everyone, my name is Linnea Trotic and welcome to the Stanley Parable. I'm playing a computer game and a computer and a computer. I played a game a few days ago that said this was the inspiration for this game, so I'm gonna go see what it's like. I just happen to have it in my Steam inventory. I think I bought it in like a game bundle or something. End is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Of course, in that game, I was serenaded by a guy with a song that was not by the Beatles, it was by somebody else, I forget who. I, not really my taste or anything. We're loading. <laughs> but I, I don't really know how old this game is, to be completely honest. Click. This is the story oh. of a man named Stanley. Okay, am I Stanley? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee cool story. number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders <laughs> came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. Nice keyboard push skills. And in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Good for you, Stanley. Stanley was happy. I'm happy. You know what? I'm happy that Stanley was happy in his job. And one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Did you come in on a weekend, Stanley? <laughs> regained his senses. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his Oh, office. I'm playing. Okay. Uh Can can I go boop on the desk? Nope, I can't boop the desk. Can I sharpen my pencils or maybe do some stuff? I think red means not done and green means done and yellow means in process. Uh, what do you got? I don't know. Oh, sorry, sorry door. Uh, 428, are you here? No, the door's locked. I think you just came in on a weekend, Stanley. I really All think that's it. Workers were gone. What could it mean? Still Stanley gone with the weekend theory. The meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, maybe it's like, no you know. How hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Well, this computer's on. Not anymore. Never mind. I hope you saved everything for 35, because I might have just lost you a lot of work. Okay, yeah. There, oh, there's gotta please. be something to open up. What? Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. Oh. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Really? I just have to click the door 20 times? I didn't count. Mm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps. Are you gonna keep raising the number, dude? Almost certainly, fifty clicks. I stopped counting, but I'm also vaguely determined to do this. Come on, get, gimme, 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 gimme. I wish this worked like a clicker game where I could just no, click as much no, as I I'm wanted. I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what. Oh, buddy. Costs. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 20 clicks into door 417. Is there a door 417? Where is door 417? Nope. 420. Uh, are you just trying to lure me into the meeting room? Gotta be over here. 417. Alright, one, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, uh, now, click a few times seven, on door four, three, seven. Eight. No, I have not done this yet. We're at ten. I'm going to get all twenty clicks on this door and I'm counting this time. Okay, fourteen, fifteen. I think I'm off. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing happened. I'm gonna clean up this coffee and cry. I've already forgot the number he told me to go to. 
So we're gonna go to the meeting room! Uh, is this the meeting room? No, this isn't the meeting room. Uh, okay, let's try going around here. Are you the meeting room? No. Meeting room, where you go? Forget which- ooh. I, I want in this room. I want in all the rooms! Let me explore! Let me be free! Stanley has been doing too much, you know, with going around and just listening to you, going through the daily grind. Stanley needs some freedom, he needs some excitement in his life. I don't... I wish I remembered which door they told me to go to. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Screw you! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Sorry, Perhaps Stanley. He stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes! No, I just... Stanley needs more exercise. He was sitting at his desk too much. He getting a little pudgy. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Yes, it is. Give me and a soda. It been worth the detour after all. Just a spest but eager to get back to business, oh. Stanley took the first open door on his left. But, but, I don't want to. I want to go to the forward door! Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> but he did all the directions right, and now things have betrayed him. Oh, things, things are not looking good. Oh. Um. Is there fall damage in this game? Maybe I should have followed instructions a little bit more. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Possibly. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing That's a bit foreboding. trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone I wonder if there's fall damage. Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. I is it me? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I know. What? Really? <laughs> I'm in the middle of something. Sorry if I waited any longer that it wouldn't happen. Convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? You're very foreboding. Convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. And how will you know that I consider it beautiful, huh? Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. I don't trust you. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, fine. Red door. Oh, thank God, you are willing to listen to me. Yeah, I'm willing to try to make this I work really out. I have wanted you to be happy all this time. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Um, I'm in a circle. Coming, Stanley? I just, I wanted to stop. Can, can I get out of here? Would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think... I'm in a circle. I think I'm trapped I here. Solution. Here. Let me show you. Oh, is this a horror game? Oh god, I don't wanna. Oh. Oh god, what did I do? Oh. Did I make him angry? What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? I don't know. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. If I we guess. Just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley. I think. Can, can I, I fall off of this? Happy. Oh, no, no, no. I actually feel happy. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Can I go back in? Ooh, I didn't mean to go back in. No, I was in the pretty place. Oh, it's so beautiful and lovely. Can I jump off of it into the abyss? I, I, I want the abyss. I want to know how this thing works. I want to make it in real life. Tell me your secrets. Achievement unlocked, you can't jump. <laughs> I got an achievement, guys! Oh, it was in the top left corner so you couldn't see it. Sorry. I don't know. Uh, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Oh. Oh, it's prettier now. Good, good. Oh, we it's so much sick. prettier. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. It's pretty, but you won't tell me how it works. No. So if I die, the what game resets. About? You're risking everything we achieved here. What happens if I disobey you? Heard me you? Before, didn't you? You will die. What about this? Isn't getting through to you? 
I don't know. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Oh, should I do it? Oh, I can't jump. Well, I can jump. No! <laughs> oh. oh. Thank <laughs> you. you know. Do I have to do this multiple what times? What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Will you forget everything that happened? That's the real question. Whee! From Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Yes, perhaps you can. Hmm. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I still can't jump! Now you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that. Can't I can't you? jump, so I'm no. leaving. Perhaps not. Mm hmm. One more? Is that enough? How many times do I have to jump oh, off oh. of this thing into Is concrete? Really how much you dislike my game, but you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it. No jumps. You're willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Nothing stopping you from being happy. Correctly. Why don't you just stay in the room? You don't have to follow me, or do you, Mr. Narrator? Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. You've been closing the doors behind me. Yes, that was too much I don't like to that. Ask. You're sealing me in. It looks like you're just like the man. Choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Is this the last one? Ooh! It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. You know what? Let's see if we can find a happier ending for this dude. Not really the best. Oh. Maybe I should go through the door clicking game. All co-workers were gone. Oh, it did restart. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. I really want to do the door clicking. I'll do that later. Let's see. So I just need to go to the meeting room, and he'll... Let me go there if I follow the directions. When Stanley came to a set of two open Let's try the left door for now. The door on his left. Okay, can I open? Okay, I am definitely gonna go through and I'm gonna figure out this stupid door clicking puzzle or whatever he is doing. Yet there was not a single person here either. Tis for not getting fired. Talk less to unbelievably amazing work. To go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I, can I go backwards? I, I don't want to go to my boss's office. But I don't wanna! Fine. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel all over the text. Oh, everyone is unique. You, most of all! Well, yeah, even like genetically similar twins have. Ooh, broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. I don't think you'll let me do that, will you? No. I'm staying in here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. This is... No there is stuff in here. Yeah. Look, I can grab some duct tape. I can grab some pliers. I could make so many cool things. I can grab this wire here. Just give me some electricity and let me loose. That Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. There is something to interact with. He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Doing sweet F.A.? Oh, okay, doing fuck all. Like, what is are F.A.? You, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? You know what? Give me something to do. Some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Make this a magical experience of wonder and joy that only a broom closet can give me. Make the entire game around the broom closet. There's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find. Well, out. the door opened. It didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Let me do something! Can I sweep the can I sweep the office? You know what? When my co-workers come back after the weekend, then I'll have the office all swept up and they're gonna be my best friends and they're gonna love me. Somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you, you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Ending. I don't even care. Really, really 
He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. What? <laughs> Stanley, you have been living one hell of a well, life, I've come dude. To a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Oh, the when best. a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. See, that'd be the responsible thing. Who happens to be nearby, <laughs> the person at this computer is I have headphones on, they can't hear you. She has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area. Don't judge me. Another human to take their from cause of his favorite ending. <laughs> making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Nope. Oh, is that it? Oh, come on. There has to be a broom closet ending. Don't do this to me, dude. Stanley with his drug money and hookers. That's why I need this tape for. I need to go, like, break somebody's knees and then duct tape them and then make them sleep with the fishes. I am gangster Stanley. I am temp have tempted just to sit here for, like, forever and see how long. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. Or maybe it will. Why is there no mop? There's a broom, but there's no mop, even though that's a mop thingy. Also, normally they have at least, like, drains in here. I am spending way too much time in the closet. I'm ah, coming out. Player. It's good to have you on board. You, too? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire <laughs> species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? I don't have a fish. Well, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly... I, I have a plushie. I'm waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Come on, give me something to interact with, dude. I guess I'm player two now. I'm no longer Stanley. Okay, one more time. Being thorough. Okay. I did not just spend eight minutes in a broom closet. I'm also not Stanley anymore. Coming to a staircase, well, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nope. Oh. I swear to God, this is just going to turn into a horror game. But oh. Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. Oh, bad idea. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Exactly. All because he believed everyone had vanished. His mm -hmm. boss would think he was crazy. Yep. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason. I'm in a loop. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <gasps> why did doors They're not there, guys. automatically behind him wherever he went? Dude! And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. They looked familiar the first time around. Eating. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. Ah, uh, he's on I'm drugs? Dreaming! He yelled. This is I'm all dreaming! A dream. This is all a dream! Oh, what a relief <laughs> Stanley felt to have finally found There's nothing answer. abnormal about, like, a building being in a circle. Gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I if I go backwards. I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life nope. job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. The so, broom closet was more interesting than this is. And began to gently <gasps> float above the ground. Oh, God. Then he and oh, this is getting trippy. Soaring through space on a magical star. <gasps> I want that! It too appeared. It was oh! so much fun. It and is! Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Oh, Stanley, How you and your drugs. so lucid. Oh, wait, no, bring it back. The strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. My star spun away. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Guys, he took my stars away. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? 
Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, the who found it particularly strange. Were you the one who convinced me to stay in the closet for so long? Describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all... Can I have my stars back? Dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility. Look, he's either on drugs or in the psycho ward. Stanley Possibly both. Awake right now, as he's ever been in his life. <gasps> now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the magical voice stars all back? That? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely. Okay, voice, just... calm down. He Everything's would, okay. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. This is a game. And he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket mm. on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. Why would it be cool? The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let, Let me, me wake be up, awake, people. He thought to himself. <laughs> I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Did you Please. fall asleep at your desk, buddy? Is that what happened? I want my apartment and my wife. Oh, you have a wife? And my job. Wait, I thought he was on All drugs and hookers. Is my life exactly and he was fat and ugly. Been. My life is normal. I am drugs and hookers are not normal. Everything. Nothing fine. is fine in Stanley's life. He is fat, ugly, on I drugs. Am. Stanley began screaming. Please, oh God! Someone wake me up! My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. Never mind. Please, just someone tell me. Oh, everything's real. getting red. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Um. Okay, horror game. Understood. And everything went black. Okay. <laughs> oh, what this am I playing? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. I'm Mariella now. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, she married to Stanley, rooms, and walked to her place of work. Oh God! But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to. You're himself, not fat. Collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she I mean, you might be on drugs and hookers. For just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And like normal moment, people? She thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. <laughs> I am the same. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. Cool story, Mariella. To think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. You gonna call an ambulance? Important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. Yep. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring... Are you just gonna leave him there? Are you just gonna leave a dead body in the middle of the stream? She just left a dead body in the middle of the street. No normal person does that. I'm pretty sure if you explained to your boss, Hey, there was a dead body in the street. I kind of had to call the cops. Oh, God. This is new? Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They Can I save this? No, okay, I guess I gotta finish this route first. Oh my god. No, no, the orders were still missing. For now. Mm hmm. Alright guys, this video has been going on for a little while. I'm gonna leave this off here. We'll continue it in the next one. I'm not sure what's going on, but Mariella, you got some issues. You got more issues than Stanley with his drugs and his hookers. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!